Hello and welcome to Penn State Beaver Transfer Up Close. I'm Deborah, and today I'm going to go over the steps for applying as a transfer student to Penn State. Our application is completely online and easy to fill out. To get us started, let's cover some basic questions you may have about transferring. At Penn State, we consider you a transfer student if you hold a high school diploma or GED and have completed at least 18 college credits. Additionally, you must be in good academic standing at any previous colleges you've attended to meet basic eligibility. The number one question I always get from students when they come for a visit is, will my credits transfer? Penn State accepts most transfer credits or college level work done at regionally accredited institutions. To transfer, the coursework must be completed with a grade of C or better. And Penn State must have a similar program or course offering. Penn State also awards credits from other sources, such as CLEP, AP, or military experience. Penn State does accept many credits for transfer. To get an official evaluation of your transfer credits, you'll need to apply, and the time to apply is now. Transfer applicants are evaluated on a rolling basis, but there are application deadlines that vary by semester, so it's helpful to contact admissions to learn these important dates. Let's discuss your next steps for applying. If you have never visited or applied to Penn State before, you'll need to create a My Penn State account. After creating your account, you'll start the application by clicking the Apply Online button. If you need step-by-step -step help with the application itself, check out our How to Apply video linked in the description below. While most of the application is the same for all applicants, there are a few sections that are a bit different for transfer students. For example, Transfer students are not required to submit standardized test scores or the self-reported academic record. Additionally, on the academic section, you'll have to list all colleges that you've attended and how many credits at each college. Also, adult learners or transfer students are required to fill out the education gap statement at the end of the application. As part of the submission process, you'll be prompted to pay an application fee unless you've received an application fee waiver. Contact Penn State Beaver Admissions and we'll explain how you can apply for free. After submitting your application, you'll want to review the application checklist in your My Penn State account to see what additional materials we need to evaluate you for admission. Along with your application, we require transfer students to submit official transcripts from all colleges you've attended. To be official, the transcripts must be sent directly from the institution to Penn State by mail or electronically. If your school requires an email address to send the transcript electronically, please use admissions at psu.edu. Please note that it does take time for materials to be received and processed, so check your My Penn State account often for up-to-date information. We will communicate with you through a series of emails regarding your application's missing items. When all your materials have arrived, the status of your application will be updated in your My Penn State account, and we will begin evaluating your application. Transfer students may receive a decision within a few weeks, but some reviews may take up to six to eight weeks. While waiting on your decision, you'll also want to complete your FAFSA or have your existing FAFSA sent to Penn State using our school code 003329. I would love to meet with you prior to applying to Penn State. However, I know that may not be possible. Once I see your application, I'll be contacting you by email or phone. Feel free to reach out to me as well. I'm dedicated to helping our transfer students succeed at Penn State. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other transfer videos on transferring to Penn State.